Hi, this is Larry Moore with More Marketing Systems. We're kicking off our first uh, SEO blog article for our new website with uh, our first uh, SEO tips for business owners. So let's just get started. We want to keep this uh, hopefully uh, within two to three minutes. When you're optimizing for keywords, there are some key areas that you want to make sure that you're utilizing those keywords for prominence uh, with Google when they uh, index your site. Um, first, you want to make sure that your keyword is in your title or in your title tag. Um, second area that you want to concentrate on, make sure that your keyword is in your meta description uh, tag. Um, that's the information that Google will actually use to create the snippet in the uh, search engine result. So make sure that you have key your keyword in, in your meta description. Also make sure that your keywords are in your title, uh, excuse me, your headers. Your H1, H2, H3 tags uh, that you have in your content. Again, as best as possible, don't force it. Uh, you know, if it's not natural, uh, you know, don't try and force keywords into those uh, headers, but uh, you should try and introduce them if, if you can, uh, it, it, whenever possible. Also, uh, whenever you have pictures or photographs in your content, in your articles, make sure that you use uh, alt image tags, uh, again using keywords to describe those uh, photographs. Um, you also want to make sure that when you have articles that the content has at least 500 words minimum um, and if not uh, even better would be say 800 to 1000. Some say a minimum of 300, uh, 500 I think is a, the very minimum. I think Google really likes to see something closer to 1000 but at least a minimum of 500, much less than that, you kind of risk it not really being uh, relevant uh, to Google when, when they index your site. Uh, you want to have your keyword, if possible, in the first sentence so that it's prominent. And again, in the uh, end or the last sentence of, of that article or, or uh, you know, piece of content. Um, if possible, have at least one internal link uh, try and link an article that adds some additional value to that new article that you're posting. So if there is a previous article that can bear further light on the new article you have, uh, by all means link that article to your new article. And finally, the usage of breadcrumbs. Um, you've probably seen breadcrumbs at the top of web pages where you'll start from the home page and then it will go to a, uh, a category, say, um, say refrigerators, for example. Um, and then it will go from that category, say, to a more specific category like General Electric uh, refrigerators. So that you can always use those breadcrumbs to basically navigate within the site. So if you want to go back to the general category of refrigerators from the more specific category, you just have to click on to that uh, breadcrumb. So uh, those are the tips for today when uh, trying to optimize your site. Take a look at those issues. Uh, make sure that uh, you're utilizing keywords properly. You have the uh, right amount of content and that uh, you're utilizing breadcrumbs uh, so that it's easy to navigate in your site. Uh, I probably went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but this is our first uh, SEO video blog, and I hope the information was helpful. And we'll see you again very soon. Thank you.